<laughs> and the rest is a sheet. Um, sorry. Um, how it's so amazing. It's like, um, you know, and it's such a big book from beginning to where we are now that my character has gone so many different places and what I thought would happen to her hasn't happened to her. Much better it hasn't happened to her. Um, so, you know, and it was this past season actually when I'd go, well, when is she going to find love and when is she going to get naked and be with somebody? And um, this year it happened. And I thought, oh, Liz is going to find love. And then I thought... Did you get naked? Well, yeah, it was private rehearsal. <laughs> um, I would have been there for that one. <laughs> I know you would have. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I would have been. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> um. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? <laughs> so um, You had your relationship and you got to oh, love relationship. Yeah. Oh, and that was the thing. This show to me is, I think, oh, Liz is going to find love. She's going to be happy. She's going to be the one. And then after my kidney was taken, <laughs> I realized that is never going to happen. <laughs> what I think is going to happen is never, ever going to happen. And what I have to say about that, as many places as this character has gone, is it's so much better than I would take her. <laughs> so that I love about this show. Whatever, I don't even anticipate now. It's like, you could ask me what happened to Liz. Well, she did this. Oh, and then she did that. And then she's going to go over here. And so it's so full that I, and I, and I go gladly. I have no expectation. Because I truly know that where Ryan is going to take us and the writers and everyone is so much more interesting than where I think I'm, Liz should go. So that's what I have to say about Liz. She's ever evolving. Mm. <laughs> Dylan? <laughs> what? Did, I pay, did he pay me? No, I'm what? definitely in for season five and six, I can tell you that much. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? He's being naughty. Oh. Being naughty. Sassy. So, Dylan, yeah, your turn. Yes, yeah, my turn. Uh, the story, <clears throat> and we say it over and over again, but in the coffee shop, and the waiter came up. And of course, you had a pilot. <laughs> the reason it's a good story is because I'd gone through so many pilot seasons. I'd done TV series, but when I, you count the number of pilot scripts I'd read by this point, 15 years of, of pilot seasons, and some guy in a restaurant comes up, and I'm always I'm trying to get a good one, and you go through this, and, you, and, and in a given season, you maybe read you know, 50, you'll go in on 30. And here I'm sitting in a restaurant, it wasn't even pilot season, it was the non-season. I'm just trying to get some coffee and meet some friends, and this weird guy <laughs> says he has a script. And I, and I honestly, when he said that he kind of had me in mind, I thought, oh, I'll bet that's a good one. <laughs> I'll bet this is just a real piece of work. And to be honest with you, he said, uh, he said you know, I'm going to send it to you. It was on my doorstep by the time I got home. And uh, it took a while to read it. I thought, yeah, okay. Well. And um, I read it, and it's one of the best I'd ever read for the reason that it starts with these two guys and you think you get them. You think that they're sort of kind of an odd couple. And then, but then by the end of it, they've kind of switched and I'm the one leading the way in the swamp, which I always loved. And uh, I, still, I still think it's one of the best pilot scripts ever. And I think the show's like that. The hard thing, I do want to say about that while we shot it though, I love the script. Then we went to shoot it and we didn't know what the hell we were doing because the tone of this script isn't like <clears throat> anything else on TV, so that, so that acting it felt wrong. It felt over the top. It felt like we were bad. I mean, we were constantly checking in with each other, thinking, what are we, what are we doing in this thing? I never it, thought I was bad. It felt, um, <laughs> but the rest of us did feel <laughs> that you were bad. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and, you know, we got through it, and, and I, I thought, I mean, I remember we, we rapped and then didn't see each other for a while. We got a call from Ryan, and he said, you know, I want to show you, show you the show, just he and I. And we both show up. We both had beards. It's like we'd been through this experience. We just weren't sure it was going to work. It was like yeah. apocalypse now. Yeah, so we sat huddled in this greeting room, just not sure what to expect, and we loved it. I remember yelling and screaming, and just it was, it was a great... I mean, ever since it's been like that. It was great to sit and watch this tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt sorry for them, actually, when we did the pilot, because the tone of it was so <clears throat> odd. 
and I really knew what I wanted it to be. And I remember Dylan's first day, my first direction I directed that pilot, my first direction to Dylan was, be Lee Remick in The Omen. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. And Michael was there, and he's like, I don't think you should say that. <laughs> Dylan was like, what the hell? And it was a scene where he was going to look up at the gardener, and I was going to do a push-in. Remember Lee Remick? Look, okay, that's exactly what it was. And then I think they just would, they were so thrown. And Roma, too, I remember I kept saying, scream louder. She kept saying, it's too big. I'm like, no, no, no. It can't be too big. And um, it was, it was, that was a very fun. But we'd also be in the middle of a scene. Like, we'd be in the middle of a scene, and we'd be doing this scene, and it'd be like, ha, 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 ha. And he'd go, now do it with tears. <laughs> Like, what? And you'd be yelling it out from the other side of the thing. You know, there'd be a wall between you. would be like, do it with what? Like, you're crying. Like, it's the most, you know. And you'd be like, okay. <laughs> you know, and you'd be rolling the whole time. You're like, I gotta well up and out, you know. I and then choices. he'd go back and he'd go, now make it like Jack Nicholson. Go, okay. <laughs> But I really did know what I wanted. I did. But you did not. Did. <laughs> you so did not. How do you know good over the top versus over, too over the top, over the top? I mean, I never liked that phrase, over the top. I think over the top you is. You can't go too over the top in our show. <laughs> no, we, we put that gamut down like the, on the pilot, right? You just couldn't, you couldn't yeah. go over the top and we could do anything. It gave us the license to do anything we wanted to do. I mean, the show was always at its core designed to be somewhat Grand Guineo. That was the idea. What? The, the Grand Guineo. <laughs> Blood theater. <laughs> it was always designed to be um, big. <laughs> Emotionally big, and, and you know, I mean, in, in the <laughs> pilot, for instance, there's that scene with the liposuction fat that went everywhere. Oh. It oh. was always designed to be pushed, behavior to be pushed. But it, within the bigness is sort of a naturalism, which is odd. Um, yeah. In the scripts are that way. Mm -hmm. So it, it, at the beginning, it was sort of very hard to sort of get the tone right. And, but we did. And well, I remember that scene. I remember that scene that we had where I come in and I say, I'm going to sue you and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And I remember that scene I was doing when I was doing the auditions and you guys, both of you guys told me just to amp it up. And I kind of felt like, oh, I feel like I'm playing it way over the top. And, but it was such a beautiful place to push them to because it, you kind of really, I mean, the one thing about the show is it's so emotional, you know what I mean? And even though we go over the top, we always bring it back to place, mm -hmm. a consistent place of, of you know, loving each other and caring for each other, even though it's weird. <laughs> Obviously it's weird, but you've always got that kind of core thing of, of, of the love that everybody has for each other, particularly I think these two characters, obviously. I don't really like Liz, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he do. But no, that... <laughs> well, I like our job, Lisa. <clears throat> um, but like that scene was a scene I'd never would have played that way, and I, and I was thinking about it today when I was on the plane, and I was like, God, it's such a it's such a great thing when you, you know, this was the greatest piece I'd ever I'd ever read in my life, and I'd only read two pieces before that, but <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a lie. I'd read hundreds, 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 the same as everybody else. We'd all read so much stuff, and to read this script and read this script, like I know it's on FX, so there's a couple of things, that, a few things that we couldn't do, like you know, you can't say. Fuck, right? Yeah. And there were a lot of fucks in the script and blah, blah, blah. So it kind of felt like that hbo -y kind of thing and all that kind of... I mean, it was just aggressive. I mean, it was... My character was freaky, right? Remember? It's like talking about screwing your wife and stuff mm -hmm. and all this. And just like... The balls these characters had was just ridiculous. And the fact that they actually got away with this kind of murder at the end, really, right? Mm -hmm. and, and whatever. And you kind of were like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody... After that pilot... Nobody ever has said to me, you killed a guy and, and got hams and put him in the swamp. <laughs> Nobody ever said that. They said, you're a cad. <laughs> you're a cad, you are. You love those ladies. You're a bad boy. I'm like, oh, you killed somebody, you know? <laughs> well, Dylan always said that, that after we jumped the shark in the pilot, and I was thrilled with that. I, I know. We did. And we did. Now we just jump back and forth all And then around. we kept on jumping. And it just, it, the pilot gave us this amazing license. I got to tell you, we're, you know, working with all of these guys, it's just an absolute treat. And, and you get pushed consistently. I mean, this is, this, um, this, this has cut 10 years at least off of my life, this show. <laughs> it's so emotionally 
connected and traumatic and, and I mean, even the sex scenes. What about the sex scenes we do, for example? <laughs> I mean, they're all like, <laughs> I, I was talking to somebody the other day, they're like, what was wrong with you when you were banging Brooke Shields? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was just very upset. <laughs> I don't, we didn't even know why, but it was like, he should be angry and upset here. <laughs> <laughs> It should be on the verge of tears. <laughs> that Blue Lagoon thing never got to him. <laughs> I mean, but we're always on that premise, pre premise, on that precipice, you know what I mean? I mean, we had this, mate, that thing that we did. I mean, you know, <laughs> that was just rehearsals. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. You've seen the show.